we wanted the show to live in the gray of what if he is good and there's no happy ending, at least in the traditional sense. What, is, what does that humanity look like? And that was something that we talked about constantly is staying in that gray for the ending. A thriller rooted in hope as opposed to what they tend to be rooted in. Yeah. So my, my first question is for Laura, uh, which is, you know, obviously you wrote the novel. This is, this is adapted from uh, how early like, did you know as you were writing the novel that you wanted to adapt this for the screen? And if so, did that affect at all the way that you wrote the book? I worked on this book for so long that I didn't even think I was going to be able to finish the book. I started it in 2011 and I put it down and picked it up. It had so many iterations. I wrote two other novels in the midst of it and then finally came back to it in 2018. So not only did I not imagine it for the screen, there were times when I'm like, it's never, ever going to see the light of day. So no. <laughs> That was a long way of saying no, <laughs> but I'm very, very grateful that it, that it has had the second life. And Josh, uh, you, you know, too, happy to be married, but you're, you're a screenwriter as well. Uh, were there things that you advocated for from a screenwriter's perspective that were different from the novel itself? One of the things that was amazing, and look, I'm a little biased, but I, I love the book. Uh, and uh, just, a, just, a, just a touch. <laughs> uh, I, I love the book. And what I love about the book is it's got this really incredible mystery, um, which I knew, you know, it's just such a page turner. Um, and it's funny because we originally thought this would maybe be a movie. And it was actually Hello Sunshine that came to us. And we said, we think this is six or seven episodes. And we sat down and I started thinking, oh, yeah, how would I jam all this into a movie, right? Uh, and so um, it had this incredible mystery, but also had this you know, incredible emotional wisdom that I think is unique to Laura and all of her books. And to me, I thought, can we preserve those two things and yet also expand, mm -hmm. you know, go places that, you know, Laura didn't have the page count to go, uh, you know, spend some time with Hannah and her grandfather, for example, and get to see what that relationship really was like, you know, how can we blow this out visually, you know, in terms of Sausalito and in terms of Austin, and then also, you know, what can we do? Can we blow out the marshal's office to sort of raise the stakes? Um, so to me, it was a very delicate adaptation. Um, I mean, we are married, mm -hmm. <laughs> but, but it was, it was an, a, 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 a meaning it was because I love the book so much. Uh, and so, you know, unfortunately we had a great writer's room and we had our true North compass with us the whole time. I wonder if this would be the same answer for both of you, but is there a specific core thing about the novel that each of you love that you particularly wanted to make sure shown through on the, on the adaptation? For such a long time, probably for the first several years that I was looking at this novel and throwing it to the wall, I thought I was telling one kind of love story, but I was really telling a different love story. And something that was important to me in the adaptation is that that second love story, that love story between Hannah and Bailey, that sort of ode to found families and the idea that family in general can look so many different ways and our lives can look so many different ways and we can find our way to something like salvation in ways that we didn't anticipate. Um, that was something I really wanted to, to stay true to. I was hoping that the, that the series would stay true to. And, and for me, I would say sort of along those same lines, the relationship between Han and Bailey, you know, is so wonderfully mm -hmm. played out in the book and I wanted to make sure that we were very cognizant of how that was going to play out over the course of the series. Mm -hmm. uh, and, you know, what was really fortunate for us is, you know, Jen Garner is a wonderful actor and a wonderful leader and team player. Um, and she came early on and read in our backyard, you know, all the scripts so we could tweak them and play with them. And then so did Anne Gowry, right? And so eventually we had the two of them. First, Anne Gowry was on screen because she was in Australia, but then she came to the backyard. And listening to them and hearing their voices and hearing what they were bringing and playing and trying to, 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 facilitate. Um, that was a wonderful process. And look, I think they're both extraordinary um, in, in the roles. Yeah. And I, I would just say one more thing, which that you, something you just said made me think of that, which is what we really didn't want to do was we had seen so many times a thriller where it turns out 
that the husband is terrible and therefore the wife moves on and has this other life or that they were meant for each other. He was good. And so they reunite. But we wanted the show to live in the gray of what if he is good and there's no happy ending, at least in the traditional sense. What is what does that humanity look like? And that was something that we talked about constantly is staying in that gray for the ending. A thriller rooted in hope as opposed to what they tend to be rooted in. Yeah. That's great. Well, that's uh, that's my time, I think. But thank you so much. And uh, congratulations on, on the show. It's it's wonderful. Thank you. Thanks we, very much. We, we really are. We're such fans of your site. All, yeah, yeah. all, all my recaps, everything, I go to you. So it's oh, nice it's to awesome. meet you. <laughs>